In this demo, we're going to learn how to save data with a new map projection. So just as a quick review, what I'm going to do is add some data to my uh, ArcMap document. I'll just add in some data for Canada. And this data, if I check the data frame coordinate system, this data has not been stored with a map projection. It's being stored in a geographic coordinate system. In other words, these are three-dimensional coordinates in longitude and latitude using the WGS 1984 datum. So that's it. No projection is being used. And that's what's set as the data frame because that's the first data set that I've uh, brought in. Now, if I select a projected coordinate system, I can go in and find something for continental North America. I'll use Canada Alberts equal area conic. I select OK. And what this is doing is calculating what the data would look like if it was projected in this way and showing it to me on the screen. We call this, uh, it, it's doing the calculation on the fly. So in other words, the data that are stored in the map file have not changed. It's still being stored in geographic coordinate system with no projection, but the software is smart enough and fast enough that whatever projection I choose, it can calculate that um, very quickly and re-display the map in that new projection, but nothing's being stored permanently. So that's important. So I could do that all day long, change different projections as many times as I want, and nothing's happening to my data file. However, if I do want to save my data in a new version of that, I, there's a couple of ways that I can do that. So first of all, I can right click on the data set that I want to change to a new projection, select data, export data, and I have the option of exporting that in the coordinate system of the data frame. So just remember, I've set the data frame to this new projection, Canada Albers Equal Area Conic. So I'm going to save a new version of the data, a new copy, with that new coordinate system that I've set for my data frame. So I'll just call this Canada um, Albers EE for equal area. Select OK. And now I have a new version of the data in the new coordinate system. And what's really important to understand here is that it's actually gone and done a calculation for every single vertex, every point that's being used to describe these areas, um, the geometry of the, the data set. All of those have been recalculated with new coordinates based on this new uh, datum and the new projection. And that's now it's being permanently stored in a new file called Canada Albers EE. So I now can use that. So um, if I create a new map document from scratch, so nothing has been set to begin with, and I now add in my projected version of that data as the first data set, you'll see that it's already automatically projected because that's been stored in the data file. And not only that, but it's setting the data frame of my map document to that. It automatically knows to read the projection information from the data file and use that to set my data frame. And any other data that I add in will be set to match the look of the projection that I'm using here. There's a second way of achieving the same result and I can access that through Arc Toolbox under the Data Management Tools in the Projections and Transformations Toolbox under there in the feature tools, because I'm working with a feature class here, I can access the project tool. And just as a tip, by the way, I can just as easily have done this through the search pane. So if I type in project here and look for a result, you'll see that uh, it's listing all of the different tools related to projecting things. And the second one in here is project data management. And if I select that, it's actually giving me the same project tool that I would have gotten through the Arc Toolbox. So this is just really useful if you're not sure where to find a tool. If you search for it, it'll find it for you and automatically open it, which is, which is great. Okay, so now if I add my uh, data set that I want to project in here, So if I wanted to, I could project 
the data set that I've already created with uh, Canada Albers EE, and I could reproject this again if I want to. So I could uh, select an output coordinate system that's something else altogether. For example, perhaps I want this data to be um, in a conformal conic projection instead. So I can select any coordinate system that I want, say OK, and what it will do is transform that by calculating uh, the new coordinate system based on this new projection. So I'll change the name to Albers CC for conformal conic, and so I can click OK, and it will calculate a new version of that data based on the uh, projection that I've set. So this achieves the same effect as what I did the first way with doing an export data, but um, I'm using a tool which can be very handy if you're using it in a model, for example, or you can also do a batch project where you can uh, project as many different feature classes as you want at the same time and it will do them all at once. So here's my result. It's now uh, finished the calculation for the project procedure and you can't really notice a big difference here, but the um, I now have a new version of that data in the conformal conic. So I've used two different methods here that achieve the same result, but with two different projections. And it is always a good idea, by the way, when you're doing any kind of GIS analysis to set all of your data or transform it, save it permanently so that they're all in the same coordinate system and projection that you want to use so that you know that your calculations are being done correctly.